What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm going over a full options trading tutorial for Thinkorswim. So with the recent news about TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, and Interactive Brokers all lowering their commissions, um, either to zero or significantly lowering their stock commissions. Um, you're going to see a lot of people switching from Robinhood and Weeble because you know uh, these premium brokerages just have a lot more features like you're going to see in this video. So I highly recommend TD Ameritrade. They're my favorite. Um, most of the brokers, uh, all the top brokers like E-Trade, uh, TD Ameritrade, and Schwab, they're all pretty much they're all pretty much the same. But um, I personally um, TD Ameritrade is my favorite. So this is Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. To get this platform, you have to log in to tdameritrade.com. You're gonna see an, an option at the top for trading platforms. Then you could have an option to download and install Thinkorswim. It's super easy, it takes like five minutes and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna be showing you what I use Thinkorswim for, just like in my day-to-day -day options trading. Now, Thinkorswim can do a million different things, and obviously we can't cover everything in this video, so I'm just gonna show you what I use day to day. So to start off, I have implied volatility on every single one of my stock charts. Um, you'll see that I have a uh, two other um, indicators at the bottom right here. They are just like custom scripts and custom algorithms that I'm using. They're nothing special, but um, I would really, really recommend you add implied volatility to your charts. And what I do to add this is you wanna to go to studies at the top right here. And then once that loads, click edit studies. And then just type in right here, implied volatility. So just do IMP and then volatility. Double click this and then it'll add to the chart. And then just click apply and okay. And you're gonna see implied volatility pop up at the bottom. Pretty much what this is gonna tell you is a couple videos ago, I showed you like why implied, why implied volatility is important. So like for example, if I saw that implied volatility was high right here and I thought JP Morgan was gonna go up, I would not buy calls. I would rather sell put credit spreads. So if you want to know more about implied volatility, check out uh, a couple videos ago. So, Next, so what I like to do is we're gonna go over to the chain right now. So let's say we're looking at a specific option, right? So let's look at let's look at the 116. We'll look at the we'll look at the 116 straddle. So I'm gonna show you how to plot straddles on Thinkorswim. So let's say you want to plot any option, right? All you have to do is go to the options. Like let's say we go to the 116 call. It would be right here. Let's say we went to the 103 put. It would be right here. So if we went to the 116 call, click like around this area, right click, wait for this box to come up, click more info, then go over and click TOS charts. And whatever box is highlighted, you're gonna to wanna to click that one. So I'm gonna click this. And now I have a chart of the 116 call option for JP Morgan expiring on, on October 11th. So this is a chart for it. It might not pop up the first time, you might have to redo those steps. Um, that's pretty frequent, but um, that's it's super simple to do. So now I'm gonna show you how to plot the 116 straddle. So if we think about what a straddle is, really all a straddle is, it's a call and a put for the same strike for the same expiration. So the 116 straddle would be the 116 call and the 116 put. So I'm just gonna plot the 116 call. So I'm gonna go over here, more info, TOS charts, and then click this. So like I said, it's just the 116 call and the 116 put. So what I have to do is I have to plot the 116 call plus the 116 put. To do that, go to the box at the top right here, click it once and you're gonna see it gets highlighted. So I'm on Mac, so to copy, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold down Command and press C. If you're on anything else, you're gonna have to hold down Control and then press C. Once you have that, um, just paste it somewhere so you can see the JP Morgan 116 call. Now I have to add the 116 put to that too. So I'm gonna click the plus sign, and then I'm gonna do Command V, because I'm on Mac, and this is gonna paste or you can just do control V if you're on anything else. So I'm gonna do this. So now what I have right here, this little code is simply the 116 call plus the 116 call. 
to make, what we wanna do is we wanna make this second thing right here, we wanna make that a put. So change this C to a P. So change the C right before 116 to a P, and then you're good to go. So copy that, hold down Command, and then press A, or hold down Control and press A if you're on um, something other than Mac, and then copy that, you just copy this code right there. And then what you wanna do is just go to the, the bar right here and just paste that, which would be Control V if you're on anything else, or Command V if you're on Mac. Paste that, click enter, and you're good to go. So now you have the, the past history of about the past month for the JP Morgan 116 straddles. Now this works on anything. You could go to any straddle. Um, you can get more creative with spreads, but we're not gonna do that in this video because it's more advanced, but you can do any strike price like that. So that's what I use. Um, you can also go to spread right here at the top and like click straddle, and you could just plot it like this more info so you can go to like the 116 and then click more info and then go to TOS charts and then click that that works too um, I prefer the other way but I'm just used to that so I'm gonna go back to single right there so what I also use is let me see I use oh the risk profile so let's say you let's say you what you were thinking about a certain trade on JP Morgan right so let's go to October 18th expirations. Let's say you were thinking about like a strangle. No, you know, yeah, let's say you're thinking about a strangle, not a straddle, but a strangle. So a strangle is just you buy a call and you buy a put. Um, they are not the same strike price. So let's say you buy the 117 call. So you right click and then click analyze. So you, and then click buy trade and then single. This is going to pretty much put like a simulation as if you were to buy this call, right? So click that, and we're gonna go to JP Morgan at the top, and now you could see a, hold on, I, I have other things on here. So now what you could see is just a profit and loss diagram. You could see that your break-even price is this red line right there. Your break-even price is about $117.93. So if JP Morgan is above that, you're gonna make money. If it's not, you're gonna lose money. And you can look right here in this little box, you can see that your max loss is 930. But like if JP Morgan goes up to 130, you'll make 12 grand. If it goes up to 144, you'll make about 26 grand. So it works with spreads too. So like if you wanted to buy the 117 call and the 111 put, you can do the same thing. So you can click analyze, buy trade, and then single. And you're gonna have the same scenario. It's just gonna draw um, your total profit and loss diagram. Um, I use this when analyzing certain spreads. So that's good to know. And then also with the options chain, what you could do is, you know, of course, with regular stocks, you have what's called a time in sales. So pretty much if you click the left over here on JP Morgan, you're gonna see, well, when the market's live, you're gonna see every single trade that happens on JP Morgan through this time in sales. You're just gonna see a bunch of trades pop up and it's, you know, it, it's a time in sales graph. So you could do the same thing with options. So you do this by going to trade. You wanna go all the way to the bottom and you can click options time in sales and you could see a complete history of every single options trade on JP Morgan. And you could even specify to certain uh, characteristics by clicking this thing right there and you could like only see like certain expiration dates. You could only see calls if you want or puts or you know whatever whatever the case may be. So, you know, it's totally customizable and then you could also use option statistics. So, if you go to today's option statistics and you could just see some certain things like there were 37,000 calls uh, traded today and only 20,000 puts. So, some people would interpret that as like a bullish um, like indication you could say. I don't, I don't use these statistics, I don't use any of this, but I know some people do and it can help you and you know, you, you might make a strategy off this. So you could see like uh, the volatility sizzle, you could see the um, imply volatility percentile right here, you could see the 52 week high and low for implied volatility, you could just see all these statistics and it, it's really cool and I don't think a lot of other brokerages have this capability, so that's good to know. And then product depth, this is more advanced, I don't use it, but you could just see like a visual of, of just how the calls and puts compare to each other. So like for example, you could see like 
the the what is that like the 115 like you can see that the 115 calls had over 2000 2000 contracts traded while the 105 calls had less than 100 so that's that's good to know i don't use this but um some people might and you might find value from that so that's really it um you could scan for certain things by clicking the option hacker um yeah so I, really all i use is implied volatility you can plot like i'm gonna go over plotting again so like let's say you want to go like to apple um, what you could do is you could just pick an option and let's say you want to look at like the 215 strike puts right click that click more info TOS charts click the box that's highlighted and then you are good to go so see that time it didn't work so I just have to do it again so follow the steps more info TOS charts highlighted box and then you're good to go if you wanted to buy an option you can just go to uh, just click the, the buy right there and, and you can see that. So um, if you wanted to buy the 220 put, you would click the ask column of the 220 put. You can see it says buy, so just click that. And then enter how many you want, uh, your limit price, and you can confirm and send it. It's really easy. Uh, Think or Swim can be hard to get used to at first, um, but it really is a great platform. I use it every day, I love it. There's a ton of features, a little bit too many features to be honest with you. Like, you can do a lot of things on Thinkorswim. I just showed you how I use it. It works for me. And um, yeah, if you have any questions on Thinkorswim, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Um, I've been using Thinkorswim for three years now, maybe. Um, I've made custom scripts on it. So if you have any questions or need any help with Thinkorswim, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.